Welcome back. Now let's meet back up with the Indiana Ghost Trackers at the Haunted Kosky House. Just wanting to know if there's anybody in the room with us, and if so, can you please tell us your name? Can you tell us what year this is, please? EVP is a major part of their investigations. Here are some of the many they've caught. They might be a little hard to hear in this big room, but be sure to check out their website. Does anybody else hear music? Please tell us your name, who you are, why you're here. Every day with this nice guy. Every day with this nice guy. Every day with this nice guy. That's it. I'm there. That scared me. Can you tell us your name? They got a drop down the road Thank you. We were, um, I was with a, a different team. Than, than we have tonight, but we were, uh, about a year ago, we were in uh, Mantino Asylum, and we were in the dining hall of the Morgan Building, and we asked for, uh, if you could please make a noise, and um, like someone said earlier, they hardly ever, you know, cooperate and do things on cue, but this, this evening it was, it was awesome, and we actually have it um, on tape where we heard six very loud, pounding, thunderous noises. Yeah, it was really cool, and uh, what was great about it is that we, it sounded like it was just kind of coming from the middle going out you know it didn't sound like it was coming from down the hall or up above or, or below it just it enveloped us this sound it was this thunderous loud noise and that was great it was cool um, I think there's a misconception that you have to be in a haunted place right. that's not true because uh, we've investigated brand new homes we've investigated you know it doesn't have to be on a, on a dark scary rainy night um, mm -hmm. anytime day or night just about anywhere you can you be surprised in your own home you can pick up EVP and again why I don't know because there's spirits everywhere that's why right 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 speaking of everywhere that's where you'll find the Indiana ghost trackers they're not afraid to ghost hunt in unfamiliar territory we recently went to Gettysburg as a group for instance we've been to a number of haunted prisons West Virginia penitentiary for instance in Moundsville uh, we've been to Mansfield and we, you know we go on we go on trips as a group and basically, since we've, there's a number of us that, grow, that go usually from our group, it might be 30 or 40, we'll rent the place out for ourselves. You know, we always have a, a good number of people to do that. But this one was so clear. Who is that? Somebody singing. I mean, and that's not anybody with us. That's, that's, um... That's nobody that's Maybe with us. Maybe it's Troy. <laughs> that, where's that from? That's from uh, the uh, orphanage in the basement at Gettysburg. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's, that's <laughs> singing nice. noise. The singing noise. Yeah. Yeah. There was nobody singing down there with us. Yeah. Yeah. And the only guy who was by the hold on there, there was a guy by the hold. There wasn't a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Renee was talking, oh, and his voice talks right over Renee's voice. <laughs> Just because you're not a member of the Ghost Track or something doesn't mean you can't come to a meeting. You can always come to the meetings and hear what's going on and just share your stories or your pictures or that sort of thing. But um, after the meetings, we usually go out on a ghost hunt. Our hunts usually consist of a few different haunted places in the area. Loosely based, it's not serious investigation work, but it's a chance to kind of practice our investigative skills. And it's not regimented or anything like an investigation would be. Um, but there's always a number of investigations that we're constantly doing throughout the, uh, the state, so there are always those as well. It's also happen. very nice, the, the fact that we have those informal hunts for some of the new members mm -hmm. and for people to get familiar with the equipment that we use and also kind of see what sort of questions they might have. Um, so we, can't, we, we not only explain, but have the, the opportunity to let them learn in the field, so to speak. The group, on average, gets uh, 
two to four investigations per month each chapter, I would say on average. And there's always members too that will bring them in, uh, will bring in investigative sites for to coordinate throughout the group. So there, there's, I would say on average, two to four per chapter per month. So there's, you know, with all the chapters going on, you can do the math. There's always investigations happening around the state. To become a member, you pay uh, $25 uh, for an individual or $40 for a couple and uh, should attend meetings regularly. And we will train people to be investigators when they like to do investigations with us. We have training that's free um, and we, always, we also have four major training dates for the state set up through the year in different sections of the state. So you can take an all day of uh, training and uh, really all that we ask is uh, a small amount to help pay for the trainer's fees for having to travel and the gas and their meal expenses. So again, nobody's making any money off of it. It's not like you have to pay a huge amount of money, but it, you can learn more in depth about EVP. You can learn more in depth about photography. You can learn more in depth about uh, true uh, investigation uh, team leading how to be a team leader on an investigation, how to manage um, doing interviews, how to work PR. You know, there's all these different classes that go on besides just our basic, you know, 101, 102 ghost hunting, our advanced ghost hunting that is taught. But those classes become mandatory, the 101, 102, and the advanced for those people who wish to actually become investigators and go out seriously and investigate the paranormal. Just because you're a member, we don't expect you to want to or to have to go out and investigate if you don't want to. Some people just want to join, find out a little bit about ghosts, share their stories. They want to be a little bit more laid back about it. That's cool. You know, that's fine. But if you really want to be serious about it and learn more, we encourage people to take these classes and to become true investigators. Get to know the ghost trackers. Stop by their table while you're here. And later take a look at a selection of the evidence they've collected so far in their site. IndianaGhosts.org.